what's good y'all your boy ross back at again with another video so last night i had a pretty cool video idea i wanted to get your guys booking decision on how you will book the main event of SummerSlam between brock lesnar and roman reigns again uh and i wanted to get your guys opinion on how you will book it so i asked you guys to drop some comments down what you would do and we have a lot of comments so i'm trying to go through some of them not probably gonna be able to get all of them in this video but some of them at least and i want to see what you guys had come up with so let's check this out <clears throat> this match is like drake's album honestly never mind towards the end of the match I would have Solo Sika interfere and help Roman Reigns, making him the newest member of the Bloodline. That could be interesting, but uh, I don't. I don't think a lot of people would just be like overwhelmed with the ending. So I, I, it could be. That's an interesting premise to get uh, another member in the Bloodline, but I think they already set as it is. So that could be a, a, a interesting one. Let's see. Um, Ross got to be sponsored by Nike, man. Got hella Nike gear. It has nothing to do with the uh, <laughs> booking of the main event, but thanks, man. Uh, I, I do have a lot of Nike gear. Well, first, I'd book having Brock Lesnar spin me some pizza dough so I can make a bacon sausage and ham pizza while I watch AEW instead. All right, uh, that doesn't help our cause, but hey, if Brock's making you some pizza, it works out for everybody. All right, uh, this looks like a good one. Since I really don't want to see this match anymore, the match still stay, stays the last man standing match, but Brock never receives another title shot again. They fight all over the arena, bring out weapons, especially the tables, insert I am the table mean. Of course, as always, the Usos end up coming in, trying to help Roman, and they get destroyed. After that, Roman hits the Superman punch on Brock, Brock hits out. Like uh, Super Cena, no selling, a finisher in WWE 2, uh, 2K. Pat McAfee does his fire commentating along with Michael Cole. A minute goes by and then you hear, burn it down, the heist of the century. Seth tries to stomp Roman, but he gets, but he gets him in a Samoan drop position. Brock spears Roman, Seth slips out, curb stomp, one, two, three. Very descriptive it could work i think that's that's a i think a lot of people have been saying self winning money in the bank and doing recreating the heist of the century and i'm i'm okay with it at this point they they really don't have anything else i mean they do have other options they could have went with for this main event but i am okay with them recreating the heist of a century so if that's something that they do i think a lot of fans will probably be a okay with that um i want them to add a stipulation that if brock lost again he can never face roman ever again then when both then when both men beat the hell out of each other seth rollins comes out comes in and commits the heist of the century too if he wins money in the bank again uh yeah i'm i'm okay with that idea as well once again another seth rollins cashing in i like the the statement uh the added stipulation which i do think roman should say bro you know what the only way this match happens is if you agree to not you know like if you lose when you lose this time you can never challenge for the title ever again as long as i'm holding it i'm okay with it i think a lot of people will be okay with that but you know we'll see if they do that add that but i think that would be the good stipulation um they both run head first into each other and fuse into a new wrestler known as brockman lanes all right <laughs> brockman lanes <laughs> that's what we doing okay <laughs> um let's see Oh, I got a new one. I got a good idea. Roman versus Farmer Brock. It looks like Roman is going to retain his undisputed Universal Championship. Then Seth freaking Rollins comes in in the last second. Last second in the shield gear and cashes in money in the bank successfully. Then this would lead to Rollins versus Rose, where Rose fan finally wins the WWE Championship. A lot of people, once again, doing the Seth Rollins cash in and uh, winning the championship that way. Uh, so honestly, it, it's, 
that sounds like a good idea. I think a lot of people are on that train right now. Uh, I don't know about the shield gear. I think he can. He's already done that once. I think he can keep it just the way it is. You know, his eccentric outfits. I think he just just keep it that way. But um, yeah, another Seth Rollins cash in idea. Hear me out. I think they should recreate WrestleMania 31. Moment when Seth went in the Money in the Bank match, cash in at SummerSlam with him pinning Lesnar and have Rollins in range few for a while till Cody comes back. That's what I hope will happen. Mm, pinning Brock Lesnar. That's an interesting twist. Last time he did that, he pinned Roman Reigns. This time, he be pinning Brock Lesnar. Mm, not a bad twist to the Seth Rollins cash in. Since Roman beat everyone in the roster except for the the one man, the holy ruler, the hipster of heaven, the man upstairs, the king, kingdom of the heaven, God. God versus Roman in the three stages of hell match for the undisputed championship in the main event of summer. <laughs> That's a good one, bro. That's a good <laughs> Who wants to see that match? <laughs> That's a good one, man. I gotta like that one. I gotta love that comment. That one was a solid one. Oh, that was a good one. All right, let's see this. I want them to go with a build where Brock is back and, well, is going to finish the job with Roman, and Roman and Brock destroy the hell out of each other. Brock takes out the Usos and Paul Heyman even, and when both men are down and trying to get up, to their feet suddenly Seth freaking Rollins comes up cashes in but gets speared when Roman covers him Brock takes Roman out there f5s him just takes him out of the ring but Seth takes advantage Seth does whatever Seth can i.e use a chair super kicks him attacks him and then bam uh, uh storm to Lesnar winning uh, Lesnar, Rollins wins finally. He's a champ, or Roman wins by taking Rollins out the ring. Hopefully, Rollins wins so that they can set up a Cody versus Seth for, for the gold, baby. So, pretty much, Seth Rollins cashing in. Rollins ends up winning. That's uh, what I got out of here. Um... All right, here's another one. My idea. SmackDown opens with Roman, Paul Heyman, uh, Paul uh, heading to the ring without the Usos. They don't, they don't do, uh, they don't do the usual entrance where clearly something's wrong and they go straight for the mic. Roman yells, Brock Lesnar name. The man's in to come to the ring, proceeds to cut a promo on him, messing with the bloodline. Paul grabs the mic and explains to the audience that the Usos were found laying in the middle of a torn. Part locker room uh, before the show. Lesnar no shows and Roman uh, Roman's on the hunt. Later in the show, during a match, the Titan Tron cuts uh, to a big group of backstage personnel clearing a mountain of production cases, revealing Lesnar underneath. At the end of the show, an interview is uh, outside Roman's uh, interview is outside Roman's locker. Um, room talking to Paul. Paul confused about the situation explains that Roman had nothing to do with Lesnar's attack. Roman bursts out of the room throwing the titles, uh, his titles at Paul, walking straight to the ring. His music hits. The crowd's waiting. It takes uh, a while until Roman appears, but he's crawling out of the entranceway. His music cut uh, behind him with a, a baseball bat. And in his hand is Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, Ciampa beats Roman with the bat, grabs the mic, crouching over his body with a handful of his hair, and, and so he'll face him. He says, there's some uh, there's some goldies calling my name, then throws Roman's head to the ground. He walks away as Paul comes out. His eyes are on, uh, on the titles the entire time. Tommaso Ciampa versus Roman Reigns. You could see. You can then say Lesnar is injured and they give us the match or Ciampa goes for money in the bank. Whether Ciampa wins the title or not, Ciampa versus Lesnar would be an interesting match to see. That is a very different one. I'm not going to lie to you. That's very different. I would not expect Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, it is kind of a swerve. Um, I think if they, you know, if they were to build up Tommaso Ciampa, it's like some real credible threat. Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, comment down below. Let me know if you guys would like Tommaso Ciampa to be inserted in this or for him to win money in the bank. I think that would be a nice, fresh matchup. <clears throat> Let's see. I like that it's a last man standing match. It sets up 
a cash in perfectly. I would 100% run back the heist of the century, have Rollins hold that belt through Mania, and have Cody Rose win the Royal Rumble. That way, if the Rock match is set up, you have Rock, Roman without the title on the line, and you have Cody Seth as a main event for night one for the WWE title. Josh Jones, man, that sounds like a good idea. I got a heart that one. That sounds like a, that sounds straightforward. Everyone that's been saying the Seth Rollins cash in sounds straightforward. Roman The Rock doesn't need the title. I have Cody come back, win the Royal Rumble, and now we get Seth Cody again, and Cody will get the win. So I'm I'm all, I'm okay with that. Someone that said I'd have Cena to make it a triple threat, or have Cena turn heel on Lesnar and have. He'll Cena and Reigns do a two-man power trip team like Stone Cold and Triple H did. Well, the problem with the Cena thing is, one, he will never go heel because it's Cena. Two, um, I think Cena's still filming some stuff, so he's not going to be around. I think he's only around to put over Austin Theory, and then after that, he's probably going back to Hollywood. So that's probably what's going to happen there. Um, let's see. Uh, here's another one. What I would do unlock this what i would do is add a stipulation where brock loses he he's banned from coming to smackdown like he did to daniel bryan however as they progress towards SummerSlam, somebody has been randomly attacking smackdown roster members that person did not attack roman reigns slash brock lesnar then come SummerSlam, the last one standing uh and the last um last one standing match starts and during the match the spot comes where reigns accidentally spears <clears throat> the referee counting which possibly will happen then brock lesnar hits him with the f5 but there's no referee counting. then comes a hoodie a hoodie figure attacking lesnar from behind with a low blow then a chair to the head then he escapes roman reigns gets up puts him in the guillotine lesnar passes out then then the ten, uh then count to 10 is up reigns wins lesnar is banned from uh going from going to smackdown later on in the uh later on Later on, the shadow figure was revealed to be a new member of the bloodline, Solo Seeker. Ah, it's, it's, it's really, it's, I, I don't think people would be okay with that ending. Like, it'd be cool to incorporate him, but he already has enough people as it is. You can incorporate him, but the ending like that, I, I don't think people would be okay. Because they'll be like, yo, this is pointless. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh, well. It's like the Usos getting involved. Like, what the, what's the point in that? Now you have a new member. All right, cool, but still kind of pointless. It doesn't... I don't know. I don't think people would be too thrilled about that. Um, him attacking other members of the roster doesn't really uh, make any sense. It would it would be something like him attacking uh, uh, Brock Lesnar. That would make more sense. Him attacking random people on the roster doesn't do anything for the match. Uh let's see someone said honestly i i don't care about this match bro we've seen this these two go at so many times just make the match longer more entertaining than a wrestlemania match because of roman's injury over with and done uh yep i think a lot of people are kind of done with this i'm gonna do one more man i'm gonna do one more for you guys i think uh, a lot of you guys are pretty much saying uh seth should probably cash in or the money in the bank winner cash in uh let's see which one we can do all right let's check this one this will be the last one so we start at money in the bank ladder match happens and the energy in the arena is very high everyone is on edge of their seat as sheamus is on the ladder about to win fans boo as they have deja vu of the moment Sheamus winning before in 2016. And Seth freaking Rollins jumps on the ladder, throws Sheamus off, and wins the money in the bank. Once again, the next night, Raw starts, and Rollins goes on and on about without him, WWE is nothing. He's the man who saved WWE from irrelevancy. He's going to become the champ once again and show he's going to carry the business once again. No one believes him, so he goes out his way to destroy every big star to prove a point that he's just on another level. After all of this talking and mind games on Roman SummerSlam, uh, on games, on uh, mind games on Roman SummerSlam comes around and it's main event time. Roman and Brock put on a decent match with action everywhere. And when Roman comes uh, too close, um, 
comes too close to show and spears Brock onto the announce table and drags him back in the ring, hits Brock with two chair shots to the head. Rollins music uh, plays with the briefcase running to the ring. Michael Cole is yelling, could this be the heist of the century? Once again, Seth gets in the ring and hits Bro hit Brock and Brock hits Roman with the F5, one, two, three, and Brock wins. Roman is pissed and runs after Seth but there's one man who is between these two, and that's John. That's John Mockley. The crowd goes crazy. And what? Seth's back. What? what? All right, bro. That's not going to be the last comment. What, what the hell was that? Why would... That's not going to be the last comment I check out. Hold on, hold on. No, we're not doing it like that. No. We're we not doing it like that, bro. We we are not doing it like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, have Brock Lesnar in the, uh in the match beat Roman up to where someone could cash in. Seth Rollins who won the Money in the Bank, so it's a triple threat for the WWE Championship. Seth Rollins wins, but Roman keeps the Universal Championship. And at next year's WrestleMania Hollywood, California, it'll be Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes for WWE Championship, so Cody can win uh the World Championship. Uh. <laughs> Here's a good one. How to book it. How to book it. They don't. There we go. That's how I'm in the video. How to book it. <laughs> they don't. That's a good one, man. But hey, I appreciate everyone that commented on this video. You guys sent a lot of comments. I wasn't able to get to all of them. But thank you for everyone that did comment on this video. And I think I'm going to do some more of these because I like your guys' ideas. Some of you guys' ideas are cool. And some of them can be a little bit strange. Uh, the John Moxley one was definitely a little bit out left field. But hope you guys like this type of video. If you want me to do some more subscribers booking some of these matches and some of these feuds, definitely let me know by running up lights. Let me know y'all want me to do more of these. But I appreciate all of the support. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.